Hello everybody, this is Grazo. Welcome to Legacy of Persia, the new DLC for Crusader Kings 3. I uh, just got this today and I think it would be just a, a great idea to start a new campaign, test out the new, new mechanics and take you on the journey. I've yet to load this up. We will be playing in Iron Man mode, so we'll learn from our mistakes. And I'm curious maybe which, which person we want to start off with. This start is in 867. There is no option in 1066 for... Uh, the legacy of persia so we are going to pick one of these five characters and the one that's jumping out to me is rostam the first or this guy and the reason being is because it's hard and uh we're also a count and i think that would be a good start we we could pick the king or we could pick this this option here which is easy so this particular person is a Dal dalamite and the faith is asherism rostam's family had has a pedigree uh, almost unmatched in the known world. That sounds good already. His father's line are some of the last of the Sassanids, whilst his wife traces her descent back to the near millennium old Arsarid, uh, Arsacids of Armenia. <laughs> old di my, it was just, my pronunciation is going to be crap at this. Just uh, tune in for that. Old dynasties and ancient fates endure well in mountainous Tabar Tabaristan, where Dalamite mountain lords cling to generations long grudges and many Rostam amongst them still grapple with a new dominance of Islam over the traditions of yesteryear. Can you reclaim the venerable glories of your birthright or will you embrace the modern world? So we're going to load up here, Iron Man mode, and uh, jump right into it. This will be a new series on the channel. Hopefully get one or two episodes out per week and we'll go ahead and just start this off. We'll just start Iron Man. Um, we will continue some other uh, series on the channel. Uh, episodes will be less frequent, I think, uh, but it'll continue any anything that we have open. I'll uh, continue my Game of Thrones series and also our uh, base Crusader King series with the Rus. And um, the Iranian intermezzo, bloody civil strife embroils the once unassailable Arab Arabian Empire. The ruling family murder and war with one another competing to usurp the caliphate iraq reels whilst beyond the eastern mountains persia persian frontier lords take advantage of the situation to assert their independence building empires of their own from baghdad's rubble um with the masters of islam locked in perpetual crisis this is an opportunity like no other for the banvadid house to become masters of their own fate and carve our name into the annals of the annals of History, the annals of history. <laughs> You're one of the involved participants in the Iranian intermezzo. This is similar to the Iberian struggle. New mechanics, new gameplay. Should be fun. The region is currently in the phase of unrest. What is that? Uh, rebellions, uh, the caliphate crumbles, warlords, cunning governors alike grasp by whatever power they can usurp. Okay, so it's kind of uh, a little bit destable. Maybe some wars going on. Your actions and those of the other participants will determine the future phases of this struggle. May Allah be with me. So, let's jump right in to a new campaign. We have uh, some new mechanics regarding house unity. Let's jump into that. We can actually jump down here to jump into house unity. We'll just skip the lesson. So, uh, this is just for clan governments. Um, not in feudal, not in tribal. So they've kind of added this just to clan. And depending on how you treat your household or your family, you kind of get different perks. So like if if you're antag antagonistic and everybody hates you, you can actually get different um, benefits and different kind of buffs. The one that jumps out to me here is the unlimited access to the invasion cast as ballet. So I could... Uh, piss off my family members and grow really quickly with expansion just by doing wars we can be competitive um, which will uh, let us fabricate hooks on each other and right now we're in impassive which is kind of like the mid middle of the middle of the pack and this actually impacts succession succession is impacted actually in the positive manner as well in friendly and in har harmonious um, generally if people like you your succession will be a bit better so we could guide my house members to become more efficient counselors. 
it's going to cost me piety i'm not going to spend all my piety now but it's good to have that option and i can improve tax taxation um i don't have the piety to do that but this will actually let me uh essentially employ people to collect taxes for me so that's a new mechanic that is available down here as well uh, in terms of tax jurisdictions and i haven't played around with this too much but this guy is only collecting one uh, person's tax he's able to actually collect up to 12. Is this the best person for the job? He's the only person for the job, but he's poor at his job. So maybe we'll get a, a better person as time goes on to collect taxes for us. Um, where are we based? We are based in Mazandaran. And uh, we're currently a count. We can hold one extra holding. So we might expand along this little area here. Who is around us? Ray. Actually, how many soldiers? We have 819 soldiers. Majority are levies. Let's just have a look at our soldiers. We have pike men and we got bow men. What sort of men at arms can we recruit? We can get camel riders who are pretty good. Um, or we could get zoopin spearmen. How do they compare to regular pike men? A little bit crappier. So we may not want those. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for now. So camels could be the way to go. Get some camel riders. It will all depend on the terrain, right? So let's have a look at the terrain. What is around us? Uh, terrain. I'm going to play this a little bit slower than my normal playthrough where I kind of just jump in and rush everything. So type of terrain around us is... Oops. Yeah, what type of terrain is it? Desert. Mountains. Forests. Mountain and forest. Dry land. So I assume... Uh, this might be, uh, might be an obvious thing, but I assume camels are good in dry lands and in deserts. They are. They don't do well in, in winter. They're actually okay in floodplains. And they, 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 they're crap in mountains. So camels might be something that we, we get if we were dis deciding to expand it south. Um, if we were to look at duchy titles, we want to eventually get the duchy of Zaded. That's kind of a goal for us. And then maybe get the kingdom of Daylam. That would be cool. So what sort of terrain is up around here? It is all mountains and dry lands. Okay. Um, advice on tax collection. This will help you gather uh, golden levies for your clan vassals. Okay. Open. I've, I've already opened that panel. Okay, cool. Skip lesson. Looks like we start off with a sword, which looks fantastic. The Sasanian sword gives us uh, diplomacy per level of fame, some extra prestige, two extra knights, Knight Effectiveness and Spouse Opinion. Dynasty Opinion as well. Brilliant. Let's equip that. And uh, let's just have a look at her character, shall we? Sheik Rostam Karanzaid of Manzer, Man Mazandaran. Look at, doesn't that just roll off the tongue? What a beautiful name. So this guy is diligent. So he doesn't shy away from hard work. He has good diplomacy and stewardship. He has a strong sense of justice. And he's cynical. So he kind of like questions things um he trusts self-interest above every everybody else everything else he's a skilled taxi tactician and a desert warrior and he's a detractor of the caliphate so this is a new trait here so for example i think this is uh, my liege and um if we look at like emperor titles persian emperor maybe not emperor titles uh caliphate means like what is your leader well let me explain this you either support the caliphate or you're against it. And I'm against it. I'm a detractor. Um, Rostam believes that the caliph's place is at best Baghdad and only Baghdad. So we kind of, we, we don't want to, to have like huge empires, that sort of thing. That's what I think it means anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please do. I'd like to learn. So we have a couple of things that we could do immediately. We could station our men at arms. I think it would be good to do that. Let's station the one that we have the most of. And they do get a little bit of a buff down here. And we can station the other guys right beside them just here. And that just increases our soldiers a little bit. Um, we do want, we have crappy, crappy champions. Um, so let us, we have an additional two champions. Let's just see if there's anybody in our court that's unmarried that might be able to get us a uh, an additional champion. So let's search by prowess. This guy. 14, he's strong, he's 37. We'll get them matrilineal, matrilineally married to drag him into our court. And my player Aaron's son is unmarried. Can ladies fight for us? 
I haven't I have yet to play a uh, a character in this area that is Muslim. So we can take on secondary spouses, which is cool. Let's just have a look at our religion. What what does it do? Uh, vassals are less likely to join factions. Okay. Head of Faith can declare Great Holy War when the hate Faith has high fervor. Okay, that's cool. What's a sin? Being drunk, arbitrary, greedy, and gluttonous. And they, our virtues are temperate, generous, and just. Okay, so we're kind of nice. Uh, what about uh, divorce? Must be approved by our head of faith. And our head of faith is the Abbasid Empire. These guys. So I gotta get, I gotta get stuff approved by him. Uh, I can claim my liege's title. I don't have the prestige, but that's that's good. And I'm not a, employing a core physician. Um, let's let's fix that. Here we go. So what do we want to do off the bat? We want to choose our lifestyle, and we are a marshal. So let's jump into that. We have some. Uh, some perks already unlocked for engineered for destruction. Um, what's my prowess? 10. So we're probably not going to leave battles ourselves. Um, so what do we want here? Do we want extra martial experience? I think so. I think we want to do strategy focus. I don't have that many lands, so control should be something that it can easily manage. So let's do strategy focus for now. And we have a grand tournament that's available to us that's costing way too much money that we're not going to do and a university visit this will get us some extra skill points i mean i could go to university but it, it would cost me all my money let's not do that let's have a look at the decisions that we could do we could destroy the caliphate um what do we need to do we we, we need to have a kingdom or a higher rank i my faith must not have the sunni doctrine okay uh this guy must be imprisoned by me okay so we need to capture him my faith hostility is at least hostile. Okay. Isn't that my religion? Ashari. And I completely controlled Samar Samara. Where's Samara? Samara is over here. Okay, so I need to basically take his capital, I think. That's kind of probably where, where he's living. Doesn't look like we're going to do that. Uh, promote Persian scriptures. I'm an independent ruler, kingdom rank, devoted servant. I know Iranian and the cultural. Okay, so this is something that we could work towards. Just uh, I can get a new fate for Persia. Hmm. Gives me development growth and popular opinion. So I could pick like one of these random fates if I want to like choose my own fate. And I could decide to kind of go and support the caliphate if I wanted to. Cool. So. Uh, can we declare wars off the bat? We can. And this guy is quite close to us. Actually, he's up the river from us. I think we're better off going for the duchy title first. So. Zaded. Uh, so this guy here. I don't have a Casus Belle on him. What about, what else is in the duchy? It's only that place, right? Yeah, I think so. Like the rest is mine. Okay, so we need we need to fabricate a claim, and we look at our our. Well, <laughs> I'm glad we looked at our court here. Our marshal is absolutely terrible. So let's change him for this guy. Now we don't. We have a decent marshal. That kind of increases all of our stats. Let's have a look at our wife. She is good at diplomacy. So let's get her to boost our court politics, so people like us a little bit better. And spy master. Like we don't really have that many people in our court. Um, that are decent. I mean, we probably need to marry to get new new members of court. It looks like all of them are male. And yeah, do we have any children? We have a we have a child. My player heir. He is. We, I mean, we want to educate him. He has a claim on. Yeah, kind of what I own. What type of character do we want him to be? I think, let's look at our stats. 
I think we'll train him to be a marshal. We'll we'll get him to lead our armies as well. Marshal education, and I'll educate him myself. Unless unless there's an odd, slim chance that we have a genius in our court. Nope, we don't. Okay, we'll educate him ourselves. Perfect. So that's our kids taken care of, and. I think it's good to fabricate a claim on Ryan, which will take 11 months. We'll get this guy to work on uh, prestige for now, because we'll need it. And collect taxes. I don't think we want to increase development in our county right now. And you can train commanders or organize the army. You can actually go ahead and train the commanders. And for now, we'll, is there anybody maybe? Let's maybe do find secrets. And we want to find secrets in the Abbasid, right? Because that's our, actually, no, we'll find, we'll find secrets in our liege's court. So who is our liege? This guy, and he's based over here. So let's find secrets over here. I just lost it. Okay, there we go. Find secrets here, take 11 months. Sweet, um, so I think that's good. We'll get started here and just see what happens. Uh, we're currently in this phase. The concession phase. So concession phase means that it can actually um, it can come to an end naturally. So you could, this can actually just kind of happen. Um, current phase is unrest. So I mean, what happens in unrest? Supply limit goes up. So we, this is like the best time to wage wars. Building construction time it is. Oh, we should be building maybe. We could spend some money on some buildings just to get us extra taxes. Uh, we don't have any like heavy infantry. Blacksmiths, uh, night effectiveness, holding taxes will go up by 4%. It's the majority of our money like spent immediately. We're making three gold a month. I think I'm gonna spend a little bit on quarries just just so we're building and we'll unpause um so what is the goal of this this series um let me just show you what i what i would like to do i would like to become the persian emperor emperor at some stage we'll end the struggle and become the persian emperor i'd like to control i think where is say like the baghdad Califeral concerns. The eastern frontier has long been a refuge for heathens and strange sects. Yet in Samara, the caliph Al Mutaz has grown increasingly concerned about this. We have heard about the Aphrodisianists and the, the sheikdom of Baduspan, who practice bizarre rituals. The califeral envoy back their pauses. The califeral envoy back their pauses, as if gathering courage before he continues in a low scandalized voice some even speak of rituals of carnal nature enough is enough the cleef wants you to deal with these miscreants okay what do i want to do um i could get some dread but again stress and uh holding taxes will go down i could spend 50 and get piety and i could promote uh arabic is that like iranian not Arabic. I don't know. Well, hang on. What what does my culture give me? Dalamite. Um, swords for hire. Okay. So I get cheaper mercenaries. You can defend and get some bonuses from that. Mountaineers, so we can recruit uh, mount, mountain commanders. That's pretty good. Isolationists. Uh, control growth goes up. Cultural acceptance goes down. Okay. Can recruit Zoop and Spearman. This is really crap. Uh, it doesn't really give me any... Well, well, maybe they're good at countering. I mean, they're good and in... They're not. They're not. They're not really great at all. Um, can spend piety. There's a little bit of stress. And this particular guy will lose some opinion of me. I mean, I'm cynical. I trust myself, so I have more or my have my have other concerns. 
uh, Baghdad. Am I, am I spelling Baghdad correctly? Baghdad. Yeah, there we go. Where is this? Okay, so I, I know that there is a university down here. So I might I might try and take Baghdad eventually. My father and steward has smallpox, so we want to isolate him. We want him to attempt to imprison. Isolate him and pray for redemption. Okay, we want to isolate him. I do want to show you he just died. He just died immediately from smallpox. So we need a new steward. And do we have zero people that could do that job? Crap. Uh, let's just see, because I thought we married someone in, didn't we? Okay, the only person that died was my father. I need to recruit. Can I like send for? I could recruit a uh, mountain specialist. Let's do that. This guy joins the court. Are you? He's also a steward. That was a that was a brilliant acquisition. He's better than my last guy. And we can get him married. We can get him married to a genius and get a genius in our court. What a move. And then what we'll do is we'll get the genius when she joins our court to educate her son. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So, uh, did you get married? You did. Okay. So, rather than educate my son myself, no, uh, remove guardian. And I want my son to be educated by someone that is a genius. She is. Yeah, we don't want to convert faith or anything like that. But she's like similar martial experience to me. But she she'll give him a better education, and she'll her opinion will go for me. So that's brilliant. And I mean, what we could do is we we could try, and like what wars could we do right now? Let's just see. Do we want to take this place? Is it in? I mean, it is. It is part of the area that we kind of want, right? No, it's not. It's like north, it's like slightly north of it. Uh, it's not even in Persia. Um, do we want to take this place? I could go to war with this guy. He's not allied to anybody. And his military strength is quite similar to ours. What about this guy, Gilan? This one might be might be a good person to fight. Could conquer this county. And they're inferior than us. So they, they've got some spearmen. I've got some bowmen. They've got some levies. I have more knights. Um, yeah, let's go to war for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a new noise. That gave me such a fright. I can call on my dynasty members uh, for, for a little bit of like renown. I'm actually going to spend that. And my brother can marry. So let's get him somebody that has inheritable traits. And we'll do some of all skills. Let's get him a good wife. Brilliant. I'm not employing a wet nurse. Now I am. Okay, so we got to go to war here. So let's raise our armies for the first time. And we don't really want a red flag. Do we want to... What's our color? Oh, what? we we do want the red flag because we uh, our banner is red, so that's perfect. I was just going to pick like maybe one that looked a little nicer. Uh, so let's raise all. And uh, who's leading this? This guy who's fantastic. It's me. <laughs> I was like, who is this guy? It's me. It was me all along. Okay, cool. So what we want to do is march our our way over here and take this one county. And we'll get a nice expansion. That way then we'll, we'll be up to our domain limit. And uh, claim of convenience. My wife, Shika, Shika, uh, brings a man before me. My Sheikh, let me to introduce you to Farouz. The, Jesus, these names are going to be the death of me. Um, he's not a bad steward. 
And he has claims. He has claims. He has loads of claims. Uh, sure. Let's have... Like, we don't have that many people in our courts, right? So... Let's get him in. Welcome to the team. We could also get him married. Get him, get him a spouse. And that way, then, we can get maybe maybe another genius in our court. Let's see. No. Maybe someone that's intelligent. Yeah, we can get somebody that's intelligent. Let's get the youngest person that's intelligent and calmly into our court. Marry that guy. Uh, Alloy joins the war. Yeah, we should like we should absolutely dominate these. <clears throat> we are fabricating the claim, and that way then we'll have all of the seafront property, all of the, the, the best land, the nice views. We'll probably win. Defending in mountains. Okay, come in here for our first battle. Should we merge together? So who is this man? He's 22 years old. Sheikh Rustam. Quran Zaid. Um, his father was Karim Bavandid. How many people are actually in our family? Three living members. Okay, so it's it's me, my brother, my half-brother, and my son. So we should probably get a secondary spouse. Restore to defaults. And I want somebody that's fecund. And do some of all skills. So I want want somebody that's like fer fertile, right? Um, she's Muslim. She's Buddhist. Uh, I think Muslim will be better for me. But this lady is the same faith as us. I think that's a better choice. Let's take her. Just get him a, a, an extra wife. This guy's passed uh, limited crown authority. What a dick. And we got a new wife. Nowhere near being able to claim an Aegis title, but we will increase our army strength here by taking this county. So in this battle, we had our our knights killed the majority of people. Um, honestly, not not a great looking battle. We only killed fifty more than than they did, so they, they actually done pretty well there. But uh. We should be able to siege this down. And what I'm going to do in this playthrough is kind of take my time and work at taking land that makes sense to us. Even though this is not part of uh, of the duchy that we needed, it is part of the kingdom that we're going for. So let's take that. How's our our claim here and uh, and also our secrets? Maybe we'll get some secrets. Do we have any secrets currently? We don't. Valuable prisoner captured. Let's end this. Enforce our demands. To the abhorrent Rustam, may, may Allah destroy your house. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to the bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Disband my armies. Now we hold three holdings. Let's just have a look at... Oh, we, we obviously let him out of prison then. So this guy, I think, now becomes your vassal. No, I just stole his land. Anyways, who else is going? Enemy commander. He's now wandering. Uh, I can invite him to court. I can pay for him to come. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not worth it. He is not worth it. But what we might be able to do is let's just see if there's anybody that's like a good fighter that's in our realm that is not landed, not landed, not landed, not a ruler, ruler, not a ruler. And I want to sort by prowess. So this particular person is, and I want male, sorry, I want gender male, so they can fight for me. This guy. Fight the court. I'd like to get a hook on this guy and then just avoid him to court because he's a good good fighter. Let's have a look at our, um, our court itself. And uh, let's say the religion is not Asherism. Can we get these people to convert maybe? Like my half brother. You like convert to the, the one true faith here, man. Do it. Get this lady to convert as well. Might accept. Let's just see if these guys convert. Okay, they did. That's great. So anybody that's in our court, we're gonna see if we can keep them. Um we'll get them to become Asherism. <laughs> 
I'm not even sure what type of faith that is. Oh, Dalabite. Hang on. She refuses conversion. Why? Demand conversion will accept. She may continue to practice Aphrodinism in secret. Okay, so we got secret religions in this, this playthrough. That's kind of fun. <clears throat> but we will uh, we'll get this guy married as well, just so we get more people in our court. And we'll do some of all skills, get you a good wife. Sure. There you go. Okay, so they did convert. Their, their opinion will be better of me then. We are making some money. What we could do is we're missing some gold to increase our men at arms. Could increase our bowmen. Let's get another stack of bowmen there. And what I would like to do is capture Ryanen. Ruyan. These names, man. Ray. <laughs> uh disrupt schemes if there's anything i should find it are you good at what you're doing you're not really a good what you're doing can i get a you can't i'm not doing intrigues i can't fabricate a hook uh let's continue looking for now let's continue looking for now and we can increase control in where we've just taken everybody seems to kind of be doing all right so far All, all wars between independent rulers ends up white peace. Um, every house gets rebuilding efforts. Okay. Every house gets... Okay. Okay. So we kind of... I can get a claim on this place. It's going to cost me 80 gold. I am going to do that. And um, we're making three gold a month. I am going to speed up time here a little bit. Should I get more wives? This guy gets rowdy, which is great because we're sending him down Marshall. Uh, any other wives that are good? That could get us an alliance, maybe. Where are you based? Oh, you're over here. You've got 2,000 soldiers. That would be a good alliance. How close are you to me? Hey, you're, you're miles away. You're, you're, you're too far away, I think. Let's have a look for more alliances. Where are you? You are quite close to me. Uh, I'm going to take this just for the alliance. And then the last one I think we'll do based on just traits, right? So we'll do inheritable traits. And I would love if we could... Oh, there's a giant. There's a beautiful trait as well. Um, some of all skills. I think I'm looking for either beautiful. Yeah, let's take this one. So now we have a beautiful wife. Um, Black Bale. Greetings, Sheik Rostam. My, re my regret is that it's come to this, but I know that you're a secret believer of this, am I? Am I a secret believer of this? Um, who is this guy? Yeah, you know what? No, I'm declined that. I will lose a level of devotion. I'll never doubt a sh Ugh, my faith is exposed. How did he know this? Or I could change to this faith. Mazdaianism. What type of faith is this? We consider them evil. They consider us hostile. Uh, let's not do that. Absolutely not do that. Okay, I, I'm now a sinner. Called to war. Oh, this is the guy that I got uh, into an alliance with. Hermat, beautiful daughter. My daughter, Hermat. Gob, <laughs> her. Asa. Asa. Let's go with Asa. It's easier for me to pronounce. Okay. 
we can get heavily stocked stores garrison size goes up i mean that just seems seems like a no-brainer we will accept this call to war where are you fighting man where are you fighting over here okay let's let's raise our soldiers help them out get some prestige along the way here raise them here sure this will cost us some gold enemy alloy joins the war and can we call in anybody no okay we gotta be we gotta be smart here and i think it would be good to siege here which is ultimately what we need to do i want to siege right because i want to get some captures task finished uh okay let's not waste any more time let's let's find secrets somewhere else uh find secrets in white in, in in the place that we just took looks like there's an army here that we could potentially defeat can we just pause here for a sec see where they're going we are winning this war so we don't need to rush and let's uh let's see if we can whoa can we fight these guys can we catch them we will we'll probably win okay cool let's just help uh take out these soldiers first and it doesn't look like we'll be able to go looks like they just disbanded Far from home, a stranger is brought before me. He's been waiting outside the castle for for, for a week. Okay. Um, it's like they want to come in, right? I get a strong hook on this guy. He's Tengri. He is a deep. How's my marshal compared? He's a he's a better marshal than what I currently have. Yep. Come on in, and then I'm gonna demand your conversion and we are going to get you to be our marshal who's this guy is he hmm. it's my brother my half brother okay uh we'll leave him there we got it we got a backup marshal though don't want to don't want to mess with my brother immediately it's a bad idea battle of Duane. Duane the Rock Johnson. <laughs> Silly jokes. Okay, 37% war score. Okay, we want to... Looks like these are coming for me. There's a 342 soldiers here. Let's go over and battle them. We'll kind of just de defeat uh, the enemy here while our alloy does most of the work. I think I do want to take their capital though neighboring ruler won the war how are we how are we looking here um so we're struggling towards struggle an alliance has been formed okay so a lot of them hasn't haven't been done can i raid is that an option no doesn't seem to be the case what we might do is uh, we'll win this war, I think, and that's where we'll call it for the first episode. We did get a martial perk, which is great, and this will be good for supply capacity. Actually, I'm leading the army myself, right? Maybe my prowess will be better going up. Yep, I'll take that one. I am leading it myself, right? Yep. So we, we're better off getting our, our prowess increased. Uh, okay. Crypto Zunist. While performing duties as a spy master, has uncovered a secret held by Faris. Fer Faruz. Okay, what can we do with the secret? We could. He practices Zunia, Zunism uh, in secret. He's my courtier. Um, I can't blackmail him currently. But, I mean, it's good that I know. A secret is there any uh like factions against me to want lower county control okay that's okay all good so far let's uh 
siege here. How are they doing in terms of soldiers? Pretty similar. I don't see any other armies coming for us though. So maybe when we siege this, we'll uh, we'll get a bunch of war score. Looks like they're gonna win here too. Sixty-five percent war score. I would like to ca capture this and get some uh, people that we can maybe take as slaves uh, back to, back to our own little uh, lovely place on the beach over here, Manzarin, Manzadarin. We really need to rename this. We got to take over Persia quick. It's the only thing that I can pronounce. What was the kingdom title called again? Daylam. Yeah, we got to become king of Daylam. Task finished. Uh, okay. I want to find secrets in our capital this time. And I want you to continue getting me claims in different areas. So I can become king as quick as possible. I just want to make sure I'm getting uh, Ray. Where's Ray? Uh, fabricated claim. Okay, Ray is not part of what I need. I'll take that one instead. And we're almost done with this uh, this this fort. Hopefully, you enjoyed the first episode. This is a a new playthrough for me in a new region of the map. Normally, I, in the last episode, uh, last series, I could have played the Roos over here, and I'm doing a Princess of Darkness series in Ireland. Uh, so. Always fun to try out the new mechanics as they come out. I was excited to see the DLC go live, so I jumped right into a new campaign. Let me know your thoughts, feedback, and comments below. I do look forward to reading them all. Um, we got some prisoners. Brilliant. Exactly what we wanted. Are you any good? He's, he's good at learning. Can you convert? Looks like he, he is already my fate. I could recruit him and get a wee cook. Let's do it. Because he'll be a better, better uh, one of these. <laughs> Let's just get him to join our court. Okay, perfect. And uh, we could also siege down here. I think there's a holding. Yeah, go for it. We could just swap him. Uh, I don't know. I don't have revocable clerical appointments. Okay, okay, okay. We did get a new member of our court. Is he any good at fighting by chance? Like I didn't look at his prowess. He's probably crap at fighting considering that I just captured him. But uh, let's just see. Adult and male. And wasn't it this guy? He's ten prowess. I could force him to fight. There you go. You'll fight for me now. Pretty, pretty smooth sailing so far. I said that as a boat just appeared up on the top left. Please don't come raid me. Who are you? Tribal horsemen. Sounds terrifying. Oh crap, there's 2,000 soldiers coming for us. We need to meet up with our allies here or siege this real quick. Probably meet up with our allies. I mean, if we get this before they come south, uh, we should be in good shape to secure the victory. A scheme at court. Someone's plotting against me. Who's plotting against me? What are they trying to do? Is someone trying to murder me? Someone's trying to claim my throne. 7% chance. It's not going to happen. Uh, improved defenses. Sure, let's do that one. Looks like they're running away anyway. I'm in debt. I know I'm in debt. They did catch a party of their army. And they're going to win, which is great. 100% war score. Okay, enforce your demands. Please enforce your demands. Actually, no, don't don't enforce your demands yet. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a capture. Looks like they're going to... Oh, they've done it. Okay. We got a, a little chunk of prestige for helping out there. And it uh, looks like we did get a secret. My daughter has typhus. Uh, be cautious and do no more than what is necessary. This guy's a non-believer. Blackmail him. I gain stress because I'm just... Hmm... And he'll lose opinion of me. Get exposed to see. Uh, what do we want? Do we want to hook on this guy? I don't think I need to use it right away. 
I'll leave it. I'll keep it in the back pocket. And maybe I'll blackmail them later. Folks, that's where we're going to leave it for episode one. Uh, playing here in the Legacy of Persia. Um, in the Sheikdom of Ma Mazandaran. We're playing the hard start. Uh, hasn't been so hard so far. We've, we've got up to our domain uh, limit. Making some good money. And we will we'll continue to try get uh maybe the duchy title in the next episode and then the, and then the kingdom from there uh thank you so very much for watching i'll see you in the next one take care and as always enjoy the rest of your day bye bye